Hey everyone, I'm Kristen. Starfish, oh, there's Starfish. We're the Kristen Starfish Show. Thanks for coming back and checking out these videos. I think what I like most about marine biology is that sometimes it's a glimpse into the past. These animals have been around for a really long time. They almost look prehistoric, like they were around when dinosaurs were here. All right, so let's go check out this next animal. I didn't even know it existed till I went to Australia. All right, guys, let's take a dive. Thanks for taking a dive with me and Jordan Jellyfish. We're here in Heron Island. Oh, there's one of my favorite there, a shovel nose ray. How many dorsal fins do they have? One, two, three. Now shovel nose are a type of cartilaginous fish, which means they don't have bones like other fish. Their skeleton is actually made up of cartilage, which is softer and more flexible. Oh, there I am taking a picture of some shovel nose. Make sure you smile. <laughs> now shovel nose are also called a guitar shark. Oh, how many rays do you see here? One, two, three. Yeah, shovel nose rays have flat, triangular shaped head with a long pointed snout that looks like a shovel. Yeah, it's where they get their name. Now they are what are called bottom dwellers. They feed on small fish and crabs and other invertebrates. Now shovel nose I think are super cool because they're oviparous, which means they lay eggs that hatch outside of the mom's body. And baby shovel nose, yeah, I think I even got a picture coming up. When they're born, they actually have a yolk sac. Oh, what's that? <gasps> Did you see it? Yeah, a shark. You always gotta keep an eye out when you're in the water. Baby shovel nose have a yolk sac that provides them with nutrients until they are able to provide food that they can eat themselves. Oh, there I am again. There's the baby shovel nose right there. Oh my God, he's so cute. He was hidden way against the rocks. I also got to see shovel nose when I went to the SeaWorld Aquarium on the Gold Coast. I think I've got some pictures of that too. Oh yeah, here they are. Yeah, you can even touch them there in their tanks. Thanks for taking a dive with me. Did you guys like that video? I think the shovel nose rays is so cool. Does it remind you of a dinosaur? Were you thinking Stegosaurus? Me too. He's got these plates along his spine, just like the shovel nose ray. How cool is that? I'm sure he's less scary than this guy though. Rawr. E, ah, uh, eel. Okay, what else can we do today? Hmm, oh, I do love math. Should we do some counting? All right, let's go do afternoon tea. One, two, three. All right, thanks for joining me another afternoon tea. One, two, three. Yep, that's where we combine two of my favorite activities, counting and eating. Okay, what math are we gonna do today? Well, let's meet who we're having afternoon tea with. Hey, Starfish, how you doing today? Doing good. And our special guest is Pooh Bear. Hey Pooh, how are you? You know, I'd give you my hat, but I don't think it's gonna fit on your head. Hmm, that's okay. Are you hungry though? We've got some extra special fast food today. And what do I mean by fast? This is the fast food that makes you go super fast, like sonic speed. We've got, yes, some fruit. Apples and oranges. Okay, how many apples do we have to start with? One, two, three, four apples. Hmm. How many would you like? Just one today? Okay, one for starfish. What about you, Poo? I know it's not honey, but it'll make you get rid of that tummy. <laughs> and I think one for me. Okay, ready? Everyone eat up. Cheers. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. Well, I ate one, Starfish ate one, and Pooh ate one. We had four apples to start with. We've lost three. That leaves one left. Oh, that's some good math. Okay, who wants some oranges? How many oranges do we have to start? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven oranges. Okay, I'm pretty full after that apple. How many would you like? Two for starfish, two for poo. So we've lost two plus two is four. So we had seven to start with. Now we're gonna take away four. Yep, that leaves three left. All right guys, that's some good math, eat up. All right, thanks for joining us today on Afternoon Tea, one, two, three. Thanks for learning today with me, Starfish, and Stegosaurus. Remember, if you like these videos, please like and subscribe. You can email me anytime at drkristenstarfish at gmail.com. And remember, in a world of angry sharks, let's all be starfish. Take care, and I'll see you again soon.